in this video we derive the equation of metacentric height by using the analytical method now here you see there is a three diagrams are there this is the figure a figure b and figure c so first we start with this figure a so what the figure a is indicate figure a so the position of floating body in equilibrium so this rectangle is our floating body and in this floating body here you see that is the two points are mentioned one is the g point and second is the b points so what is the meaning of g point g means location of center of gravity and b means center of buoyancy in this position means at the g point the weight of the body is located and at the point b the buoyant force f is acting at the point b the floating body is given small angular displacement in a clockwise directions now here in this figure b we can see when the small angular displacement is given to the body then what happens the body is move at a certain angle and this angle is the theta then what happen so this is shown in figure b the new center of buoyancy is at the b1 so earlier we know that this b is the center of buoyancy but when we given small angular displacement this center of buoyancy is move from b to b1 and from this b1 point we draw the one axis or a one vertical line through this b1 so this vertical line is intersect to this normal axis of the body okay so when this normal axis of the body and the vertical line from the b1 is intersect it is called as the point m and what is the point m m is the metacentric point and distance between g to m is called as the metacentric height so this distance g to m is called as the metacentric height now we need to derive this equation for the metacentric height means we need to find out the equation for g to m the angular displacement of the body in a clockwise direction cause the weight say prism that is the bo b dash on the right of the axis to go inside the waters means here we see this is the body which is in a floating body when we given small angular displacement okay so on the right side of the axis the more area of the body is inside the water and on the left side the area of the body is reduced inside the water okay earlier we see that from this a to b point area is submerged in the body okay so this total area is same but on the right side the area is more so which area is increase on the right side so in the right side this area that is a b o b dash is increase and on the left side what happens so while it is the identical weight say prism represented by a o a dash emerges out of the water on the left side of the axis means this area that is b o b dash a o a dash are same but on the right side the area is go inside the waters and on the left side area is come outside the water so due to this what happens that is a imbalance forces is create means on the right side the buoyancy force is increase because here the area is increase and the left side the buoyancy force is reduce here we see it is arrow is indicate in upper directions so this side the buoyancy force dfb is increase and here the dfb is reduce this both the value dfb is same but they are in opposite direction one is in vertical direction in upper direction second is in the vertical downward directions this wedge represent gain in buoyancy force on the right sides and the corresponding loss of the buoyancy force on the left side so we already discussed on the right side wedge is increase the buoyancy force on the right side and on the left side the buoyancy force is reduce why because on the left side the area is reduce inside the water so body area inside the water is reduced so buoyancy force is reduce this gain is represents by the vertical force dfb acting through the cg of the prism 
that is a BO B dash while the loss is represented by equal and opposite force DFB acting vertically downwards through the centroid of A O A dash means this is the B O B dash it has some centers from the centers DFB force is increased or it is in the upper directions on the right sides and here on the left side it is same amount of this DFB but it is in opposite directions now due to that here some couple is induced okay the couple due to this buoyant and force dfb tends to rotate the ship in a counter clockwise directions means due to this couple here we know that it is one is upper direction second is downward directions and both the value are same or both the forces are same but direction is opposite so this try to move in upper direction this part is try to move in downward direction so this body is again come into the equilibrium condition like as the figure a so here the two type of the couple is produced first is due to the point and force or it is also called as the due to the weight set and second is moment caused by the displacement of center of buoyancy from b to b1 so here this buoyancy point b point is move from b to b1 so this point is also create some momentum okay and this displacement of the center of buoyancy from b to b1 is also in counter clockwise direction thus these two couples must be equal okay now for deriving the equation first we need to find out this equation of the moment of these two forces one is for the dfb and second is for this displacement and we need to equal them here we mention that these two couples must be equal so we equal these two equations of these two different couples and we are able to find out the equation of metacentric height now before moving towards derivations i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics or other subject of mechanical engineering for the fluid mechanics various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist so what we need to do we need to find out the two different equation so first we find out couple due to this buoyant and force dfb then after we need to find out the equations due to the buoyancy force move from b to p ones okay now here we know that it is a couple and we need to find out this momentum so what is equation of the momentum or moment so equation of the moment is the force into distance okay and in this case the force is equal to weight of the body okay so first we are finding the couple due to wedge so we consider towards the right of the axis a small strip of thickness dx at a distance x from o as shown in figure b so this is the figure b this is the wedge so this due to the wedges of these two wedges one is right side one is left side okay and we need to find out this moment for the moment equation is the force into distance force is equal to weight so first we need to find out the weight of this wedge that is bo b dash okay for that we consider one strip now in this figure c we can see this is a one strip okay so this type of the strip is also here and this strip have a distance x from the point o in this diagram here we also see that this is the axis and from the axis the strip have distance x but we need to consider the figure b that is mentioned here this is the point o and from the point o at the distance x one strips are there and the strip thickness is the dx so first we need to find out the height of strip so in this c diagram we can see this height of the strip is l okay but here we are consider minor portion in this weight shape okay so in a weight shape the height of the strip is x into angle bo b dash so here bo b dash is the theta that we already mentioned okay so here the three angles are there one is the bo b dash on the left side a o dash and another angle is the b m b dash so here two b points are there okay so we are not consider these b points b means the buoyancy here 
So this triangle, third triangle is this one B, M, B1. So here we see that the theta is mentioned. Okay. So these three angles are same and it's, it is denoted by this theta. So here height of the strip at this place is the X into theta. Now second, we need to find out the area. So area of the strip is the height into thickness. Now we already know what is the height. Height is the X into theta. And the thickness is the dx that we here assume that is the thickness is dx. Okay, so this height into thickness we can able to find out this area. So x into theta into thickness is dx. Now if L is the length of the floating body, then we are able to find out the volume. So volume of the strip is equal to area into length. So we already know the equation of the area that is the x into theta into dx and it is multiplied with the L we are able to find out the volume of strip. Now we are need to find out the weight of the strip. Now why we are find out the weight because we need to find out the couple. Couple means we need to find out the moment and moment is equal to force into distance. Distance we already know but we need to find out the force and here the force is equal to weight. Okay, So we need to find out the weight. So weight is equal to mass into volume. So what is the mass? Mass is the rho into g. Okay, so mass is the rho into g. And what is the volume? So for the volume, we find out this equation that is x into theta into l into dx. So similarly, if small strip of thickness dx at distance x from O towards the left of the axis is considered, the weight of the strip will be rho g x theta into l into dx means this equation of the weight is for the right side strips or a right slab, right side wedge. So similarly for the left side, so we already know that these are symmetrical component. Okay. So same equation we can find out. So we can consider this is the same equation. Now these two weight are acting in the opposite direction. Hence create or constitute a couple. So when these two forces are in the same and in opposite direction, it creates some couple. Okay, then we are able to find out the moment of this couple. And moment of this couple is the weight into distance between these two weight. Okay, so what is the distance between these two weight? From the O, distance is X from the right side. Distance is X also from the left side. So total distance is the X plus X. And the weight is rho g x theta l into dx. So here the weight of the each strip is the rho g x theta l dx distance is the x plus x. So here x plus x is the 2x. Okay, So this 2 is written ahead it is a 2 rho g this x and this x is multiplied. Okay, This x and this x is multiplied so it is a x square into theta into l into dx. So moment of couple for the whole wedge means this is for only the strip of the wedge. Here we see that it is only for the strip. So in this diagram here we consider one strip. So this momentum is for only the strip but we need to find out the moment for whole wedge. For that we need to do the integration of this equation and when we do these integrations we can get is the equation number one. So moment of couple due to shifting the center of buoyancy from B to B1. So this is our equation number one due to this wedge. Okay, so earlier here we mentioned that we need to find out the two moment. So here we already discussed. So first is couple due to this buoyant and force DFB. For that we already find out the equation. Now we need to find out equation for this scenario. That is the displacement of the center of buoyancy from B to B1. And then after we need to equal these two equations. Here we mention these two couples must be equal. So one equation is find out. Now we need to find out these equations. That is the equation due to the buoyant and force shifting from B to B1. So for that it is a force FB is acting at the point B. We already discussed at the starting of the video. At the point B the buoyant force is acting. So buoyant force is denoted by the FB 
and distance is b to b1 and this b to b1 we can also able to return that is a bm into theta okay so instance of this b to b1 we can write down bm into theta and this theta is very small and instance of this force we can also know that the force is also equal to the weight in this case so instance of the fb we can write down this w so equation for the couple due to shifting the center of buoyancy from b to b1 is the w into bm into theta so this is our equation number 4.2 now what we need to do we need to equating this equation 4.1 and 4.2 as per the our theory so now we equating this equation okay now here the integration are there and but here the some constant parameters are there so this is a 2 is constant rho is constant g is constant so we not need to do the integration of the constant parameters okay so we only do the integration of the x square l into dx okay now here we see that the theta is available on the both sides so this theta and this theta is cancel so what equation is remaining that is w into bm into 2 rho g integration of x square l dx now l into dx is the element area on the water line shown in this figure c so it's equal to da means this l into dx is equal to da so instance of the l into dx we can write down the da now instance of 2 into integration of x square da is the second moment of area on the plan of the body means instance of these two integration x square da we can able to write down the i that is the integration okay or the moment of inertia i so w into bm into rho g into i so this i is equal to 2 integration of x square into da so here we get this equation of the bm so bm is equal to rho into g into i divided by w now instance of this w it is a weight of the body or it is also called as the weight of the fluid displaced by the body so it is a rho g into volume of the fluid displaced by the body so instance of the w we can write down this equation rho g into volume of the body submerged in a water okay so here we can write down these equations so bm is equal to rho g i divided by rho g into v that is the volume so this rho g rho g is cancels so bm is equal to moment of inertia i upon the volume of the body submerged in a waters but we need to find out metacentric height that is the gm okay so we have this equation of the bm so how we can find out the gm so bm minus this b to g then we are able to find out gm so here we write down simple equation the gm is equal to bm why we can use the bm then because we have the equation of the pm and from the bm we can subtract this value of b to g then we are able to find out metacentric height gm now here we have a equation of the bm so we putting in this equation that is a moment of uh, inertia divided by volume and this minus bg is as it is so this is our final equations of the gm gm means the metacentric height by using the analyticals matter so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends